What's going on, Xanderverse? It's your boy Xander Wynn here, the Dreadlock Nerd. Welcome back to TXI. Here, Screw Attack has given us another death battle, this time between two famous boxes of the fighting game franchise. We have Balrog from Street Fighter, aka known as M. Bison in Japan. And then, of course, we have TJ Combo from the Killer Instinct franchise. Now, I'm never usually one to play with boxers in fighting games because, of course, I'm a karate man, so that's who I'm usually going to go with. But these two are one of the toughest hitters in both of their franchises, respectively. So, again, as always, I've already watched the pre-fight information, all the pre-fight stats. I've watched all that stuff. So we're just, just going to jump into the fight right now. This should be very interesting. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Probably go with Balrog taking the win on this. I know I usually don't make any wagers, but I'm gonna say Balrog might take this one. I just have a feeling like he's, he's gonna win this one. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Funny. If boxing, if live boxing were actually more like this, I'd probably watch it more. But I know it's not like that, so. Oh shit! What the fuck? Uh oh. Okay. Bring it on, asshole! Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. Breaker. Superman punch. Uh oh, looks like I might be wrong. Too slow, too slow. Oh shit. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Kicking in. Yep, he only fucked kicking in. Mm. Oh, it's a combo. Oh, 
I should have known better. I should have known better. I I forget. This was an extremely close bout. In fact, both fighters were evenly matched in a lot of unexpected ways. Being a slugger, Balrog was obviously used to having the strength advantage, but DJ actually had it matched. Recall how Balrog's punch killed an elephant whose skull could withstand 10,000 pounds of force, or 44,482 newtons. In comparison, DJ's vortex punch is capable of hitting opponents at a minimum of 13.4 feet into the air even if they weigh as much as 550 pounds, like Fulgul. To launch something that heavy with just a punch would require 44,820 newtons of force. Hmm. Dang, that's close! And that's not even TJ's strongest punch! Even their ability to take hits were pretty similar, like Balrog falling off of the cliff or TJ jumping out of the Ultratech skyscraper, both of which were at similar heights. Luckily for TJ, analyzing real-life boxing trends revealed his inherent advantage over Balrog. Mm. The popular triangle theory of boxing, also called the rock-paper-scissors theory, <laughs> claims that sluggers such as Balrog naturally struggle against outboxers like TJ. Yeah, slugger punches are really strong, but they're predictable and require more energy. So a good mm. outboxer could just keep his distance, capitalizing on mistakes, and then wear the slugger down over time until the opportune chance for a knockout blow. Obviously, it's called a theory for a reason. Every boxer is different. However, when applied at a very fundamental level, the triangle theory holds weight. Like when Ali took the title from slugger George Foreman in the famous rumble in the jungle by using those outboxer tactics. And don't forget, TJ kept a heavyweight title for over 20 years. Despite how closely matched their power and durability were, TJ's speed, tactics, and experience won the match by permanent knockout. You could say TJ had the instincts for this fight, and it was a killer. The winner is TJ Combo. I, I tend to forget. I tend to forget Street Fighter characters don't do well as in characters that come from games where they kill. So um, it it just kind of made sense. I should have went with TJ Combo, but Shredder, yeah. Versus the Silver Summit. Oh shit. Oh, I can't wait for that one. Oh, I'm gonna watch it. Just so you guys know, the Shredder is my shit. Shredder is one of my favorite villains. And the way he was portrayed in the movies was awesome. Of course, you know, Uncle Phil doing his voice in a in a TV in the um, cartoon was dope too, but uh again, I should have went with TJ Combo. I figured the slugger was gonna outwit, you know, or outdo the um outboxer, but I guess I was wrong. I haven't been really winning these much lately, have I? Oh well. In any case, post your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about this death battle between Balrog and TJ Combo. If you enjoyed my reaction, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Share this video with all your friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see. If you're still looking to do a collaboration with me, hit me up and one of my links in the description box below. Dreadlock Nerd out. Peace.